Hello everybody. Um, how are we all doing right now? I admit that I've been very selfishly not wanting to talk any to anyone or to put myself out there. I'm actually enjoying this dark night of the soul and um, intentional lockdown. For me it's quite a blessing. Um, I tend to be the type of person who per puts off my own feelings and emotions and kind of stuffs them down with being busy and by um, needing to do and needing to go and needing to be other places and other people and for others always. And this quarantine has in many ways kind of brought me back to my center. Um, it's reminded me to focus on self-love and self-healing. I've had to make a few difficult choices financially and um, also to prioritize and meditate on what really matters to me. I have been doing a lot of soul work and it's been hard because I keep having this guidance to you know share it with others and to try to help other people and yet at the same time I just want to work on myself and so this has kind of been a really good way for me to focus on my inner self and my inner calling and my inner hearing and put everyone else aside and focus on myself and my my journey so I have been using this time to pray a lot, um, meditate, um, quiet moments by myself. I've thought a lot about money and finances. It feels like this is a time when everyone's being forced to look at their trigger points. Um, for some people, it's money. For some people, it's time. Um, for some people, it's um, boredom. For some people, it's lack of self-knowledge. Um, for other people, it's turmoil. So we're all kind of looking at what our trigger points are. Um, my trigger points are definitely um, financial and also the inner martyr syndrome that I have of always trying to do and be for other people all the time uh, to the point where I try to help other people with their spiritual journeys while putting my spiritual journey on the back burner. And this this time has been good. I've had to actually meditate and make a lot of boundaries. So here we are kind of in our home um, and I've had to reestablish uh, space boundaries and personal boundaries and time boundaries and work boundaries. Um, when all of the worlds kind of collide in, you kind of have to pick and choose which are of focus for you. Financially, I have been uh, struggling with work and career and trying to figure out and establish who I am in that field and lately I've kind of discovered that my priority is in many regards um, not financial. I thought it was for so long. I've been working on abundance and prosperity and I am absolutely manifesting abundance in my life but I, I don't have to work as hard for it which I thought um, I've kind of had this attitude like um, I have to work hard for money and if I work hard then the money will flow to me and I've kind of realized recently that um, I have to work hard for money no money flows easily to me yes and I was able I had to actually accept it um, there was an opportunity given to me where I could uh, be home and um, be with my children um, and get um, basically um, uh, a decrease in pay to focus on my family and my home and my children, which I was really struggling with. And I really fought against it. I was like, no, 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 I've got to work, I've got to do, I've got to be, I've got to, you know, pioneer on, pull up my bootstraps. And in meditation, it came to me that I don't have to do that, that I actually just have to accept the gifts that the universe are offering to me and that my challenge right now is to go within and um, there's a greater plan right now and I have to be a part of that and if I distract myself with illusions then I'm going to not be able to um, 
be grounded and ready for the reality of what's next. I grew up in a um, end of the world home. The end of the world was coming and we were waiting for that time. Um, so this has triggered a lot of um, ancestral DNA for me in terms of um, hoarding and sickness and end of the world fears and catastrophes of apocalypses and I had to work through those feelings and fears um, and kind of acknowledge that they weren't my own that they were something that was um, implanted in my subconscious and that it was time for me to let those those moments and those feelings go so I can create something new I saw a Facebook photo which said um, start stop imagining the apocalypse and start imagining the revolution which I liked um, I don't think it's a revolution though and I think that again it's just kind of uh, attaching yourself onto this kind of attack plane of existence which I think we can do so much more right now we don't have to actually attack with each other we just have to focus on creating a new awareness and interconnection I love seeing how, you know, quiet Mother Earth is. My yard is quiet. I live not too far from a busy street. And usually when I go out of my house by the water, I can just hear cars. I can see cars. It's not that relaxing. And lately it's been like an oasis where there's no one there and there's no sounds and there's no cars. And and it feels like a Mother, Mother Earth played a very good, you know, well-played Mother Earth. The chess game is... You know, she needs us to go um, within so we can learn more about ourselves. So we actually are inside. <laughs> so to get us to appreciate going outside, we have to be inside. Very, very brilliant um, game of chess there. Um, so I, I'm doing well. Um, I'm working on my channeling right now. Um, I've, m my dear friend, um, Shirley Spruill, um, has kind of been a, a, a Facebook friend over these years and she's done wonder, many wonderful live feeds and uh, she did a wonderful video last night about channeling and I do a lot of automatic writing and I do a lot of um, inner work which I kind of came to the real, realization yesterday that I've been doing it kind of selfishly for myself asking you know these higher beings for wisdom and advice about myself and not really so much about the greater world so I'm gonna start opening myself up more to that and um, trusting and knowing that I myself am guided and I'm here for more um, another person I highly suggest that you all look into if you haven't been is Natalie Bertold she's done some wonderful family constellation um, live on Facebook with Corona and it's been uh, beautiful and very enlightening and actually very similar to what um, I've been meditating on. Um, I tend to be kind of a, a worry wart and I think I've been stressing people out that know me because I'm I'm in a really good place right now. I'm not I'm not worried. I'm not stressed. I, I've had to make some priority changes which were you know small incrementally stressing me out but in general I'm doing really well right now and I'm feeling the blessings of of this time in this healing zone um, but I am going to be trying to work on more of um, presenting some of my channeling work out to you um, I've been working with the Archangels um, Gabriel especially has been coming to me a lot lately um, there's a lot of wonderful energy that's flowing through us right now actually Gabriel's here with me right now I can feel my energy shift as I mention their names um, sometimes that happens when you start um, channeling and connecting with spirits, if you bring, if you invoke their name, they will come. Um, so I will start trying to present myself more as a, as a channel and as a voice for wisdom. So if you are interested in that, I will try to prepare my instrument for that. And I just wanted to send love out to you all. I've been cloistered in my home, and I love. I love that you know I'm very I'm very cloistered I'm very safe I'm very protected I don't I don't have a lot of the the struggle dynamics that a lot of other people have right now 
Um, so I'm really using this time for inner awareness, um, really connecting to my family. The messages my angels keep getting is enjoy your family, enjoy your family. Um, and it's such a, like, a, I keep trying to channel and the message they keep saying is enjoy your family. Like, in other words, don't spend time with me right now. Like, please go spend time with your family. Enjoy your children. Enjoy your time. And um, so I've been kind of having this, like, I must be a channel and send messages out to the universe. And my angels are like, no, enjoy your family. Yep, go outside and be outside and Feel the wind in your hair and, and feel the earth under your toes, which, by the way, I want to mention the earth is vibrating at a different level right now. I don't know if anyone's felt it as um, someone who's barefoot often. We are literally vibrating in a different way lately. I can feel it when I walk on the earth. My children are, they just want to be barefoot all the time. And that mom in me is like, put on shoes and socks. And then the spiritual side of me is like, yeah, eat up the vibration. It's amazing. So... Um, balance again in that. So I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that you're all feeling um, nourished during this time. For those of you that are struggling, know that this is a time of rebirth and renewal. Um, this is the dark night of the soul for many people. Um, so you're going to be forced to go inside so that way you can literally face your fears, whatever they are, and then you have to come out the other side. You have to make the choice that you want to come out the other side as a better person. Um, so for those of us that are going through a dark night of the soul, I hope that you go inside of yourself, face your fears, and come out better. Um, hi, Melanie. And for those of us that are kind of enjoying this um, cloistered sense of solitude, I hope that you use this um, wisely and practice lots of self-care and self-love. And... I am sending love and light to all of you, and I am truly blessed to be here in this world now um, with those of you around me as friends and family, and I love you all, and I wish you many blessings, and a wonderful, happy um, Holy Week, Passover, Easter, Good Friday. It's a time of renewal and rebirth, and this is our time to awaken. This is our time to come go inside and face our fears and come out feeling better and rejuvenated and refreshed. We are warriors right now, and our, our struggle is so simple and beautiful. So just allow yourself to really embrace this time and to be able to come out the other side as a, a beautiful divine self that you are. You are light. You are divine. You are so much more. You're so much more than what you see yourself as. We all are. And so we just kind of have to claim it. Come out the other side and claim our beauty. So, blessings. Bye.